Okay, here's a resistance reading on this plastic conductive plate. Got it hooked up here. Change this over to the ohms reading. 31.4 ohms on the plastic plate. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now is that little over one amp, I've set it up for a little over one amp, I'm going to charge at, looks like, um, five volts, five and a half volts. It's on the aluminum plate that, <coughs> that I have... Um, used uh, hydrochloric acid and graphene oxide on to create the um, surface on the aluminum plate. This is the plastic electrode and I've got salt water, table salt and water in between. I've charged it up now for maybe 15 seconds. <clears throat> I'll disconnect the source and there's the voltage it's slowly going down. Here's the current through a motor. Sorry about that blurriness. I don't know what that is. Must have touched the lens. I do not know. Okay, it's slowing down now. I'll disconnect it. And it starts to go back up. It'll probably go back up to 1.5 volts. <clears throat> but here's what the, the cell looks like. Plastic plate. Separator. It's made of some sort of a uh, plastic. And here's the plate. try to get a better view of it. Now, for some reason it's blurry. Of course that's the way it always happens. <clears throat> Nature of the game. Alright, maybe I'll get a better view here in a second. There's a better view. You can see the black stuff on there. That's the graphene. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, the black stuff is the graphene that's down inside the scratched areas. I guess combined with the the oxide that was created. Okay. Maybe I'll have some more later. Bye.